Hey, welcome back. We are going to go over, uh, again, we're working on our review of chapter six of rational expressions. We're gonna go over the concept of how to divide a rational expression. A uh, rational expression, just like a big fraction or a polynomial fraction, when you divide, what happens is you copy the first term, make it multiplication and flip the second. So these types of problems will look something like this. Eighteen y squared plus nine y minus two over twenty four y squared minus ten y plus one divided by three y squared plus a seventeen y plus ten all over eight y squared plus 18y minus five. Okay, so instead of, you know, when you copy dot flip, again, what you should think is uh, after you flip, then you can cancel. But what you should be thinking is factor. So when I factor this 18y squared plus 9y minus 2, I'm going to put that, those factors right here on the top. When I factor this, 24y squared minus 10y plus 1, I'm going to put the factors on the bottom because a stays here and b stays here. But when I factor these, I'm going to switch where their factors go. So starting with this 18y squared plus y, 9y minus 2, I'm going to check for a greatest common factor. There is not one, so this is a one, two, three term polynomial, so I'm going to use synthetic factoring. To use synthetic factoring, I'm going to take 18, the coefficient of a. Remember that it's in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to take a, which is 18, times that by a negative two, which is C, get a negative 36. I'm gonna look for factors of 36, negative 36 that will sum to a positive nine. So we can list all the factors of 36. We've got one, 36, two and 18, three and 12. And we could stop there because we can make these sum to a positive nine. If we have a negative 3 and a positive 12, then we would have a positive 9. So using those factors, I'm going to have negative 3 and write that over 18, write it over a, and the positive 12 and write that over 18, which is a. Reduce these fractions, 3 will go into 3 one time and three will go into 18 six times. 12 will go into, six will go into both 12 and 18, and this will be a positive two and a three. So these are the reduced fractions. Let me scoot that up just a little. Okay, and these factors right here, fractions, are gonna become factors. So this will be my first factor here. I'll say that that is six y minus one and a three y plus two. So six y sign goes behind three y plus two. Okay, so that was the top one. Now we're going to factor this bottom one here using the same steps. So I've got no GCF, because there's no variables that are shared and no constants that are shared. So I'm gonna do 24 multiplied by a positive one, and that's gonna be equal to a positive 24. If we start listing the factors of positive 24, we've got one and 24, two and 12, and I can stop there because I can try to get these to sum to negative 10. But if I look and I say, oh yeah, I can get negative 10 by doing a negative two and a positive 12. The problem is that this factor combination won't work because negative two 
times a positive 12 is a negative 24. So it has to meet both of the requirements. It has to both multiply and sum to the negative 10. So I'm going to keep going here. We've got 3 and 8 and 4 and 6. 4 and 6 are the factors that will work because I can have them both be negative. And a negative 4 times a negative 6 is a positive 24 and that sums to a negative 10. So we know that those are the factors. I'm going to write these factors right over here. Over a, which is 24, and negative 6 over a, which is also 24. When we reduce these fractions, 4 will go to an, into itself once and into 24 6 times. And 6 will go into itself once and into 24 4 times. So these represent the factors 6y minus 1 and the factor 4y minus 1. Okay, so that is our bottom polynomial here. Now I'm going to factor this top polynomial here, but when I factor it, I'm going to put the factors on the bottom because whatever C is when you're dividing, you put it on the bottom. Okay, so looking again, I'm looking at th 3, 17, and 10, and none of those have anything in common, so there's no GCF. There are three terms here, so I'm going to use synthetic factoring again. And I'm going to say that 3 times a positive 10 is a positive 30. Now I'm looking for factors of 30 that will sum to a positive 17. If I do 2 and 15, I can have them both be positive and those will sum to a positive 17. So those are my factors. I'm going to write each one of those factors right over here over a, which in this case is 3. And then I'm going to reduce these factors, fractions. This fraction won't reduce, but this one will. I can divide a 3 out of here, out of the top, and a 3 out of the bottom. Then I'm going to write these as factors. Again, because I'm factoring this top and its division, and I'm going to flip, then I'm going to write them down here. So this one is going to be a 3y plus 2 and a y plus 5. Okay, so now we have factored this top one, put the factors here. We have only left to factor this bottom one. So let's start again. And looking at that 8, 18, and 5, there are no common factors. So there's no GCF. It's a three-term polynomial, so we're using synthetic factoring again. 8 times a negative 5 is a negative 40. I'm looking for factors of negative 40 that will sum to 18. If I do 2 and 20, I can have a negative 2 and a positive 20, and those do check out and sum to a positive 18. They multiply to the negative 40. So I'm going to write those factors right here over a, which in this case is 8. Always remember to keep these signs because they tell you what sign goes here in the factor. So I can reduce this fraction to 1 fourth, and I can reduce this fraction by a factor of 4, so that'll be 5 over 2. And I'm going to write these fractions represent the factors that will go here. And again, the factors of this polynomial we're putting on the top because we are flipping D. So this is going to be a 4y minus 1 and a 2y plus 5. Now that I have factored every one of these, I can go ahead and cancel anything that can be canceled. So I've got a 6y minus 1 on both the top and bottom, the whole factor, a 3y plus 2, remember you cancel the whole enchilada or nada. And then what I have left here then is just this 2y plus 5. So lots of people will want to cancel this y or this 5, but either one of these, but you can't cancel because these are related through addition and subtraction. So they can't be canceled. The reason we can cancel these is this entire term is related through multiplication. You can only cancel factors, not stuff that's related through addition and subtraction. So this would be your final answer. That would be how to divide a rational expression.